Hey guys, welcome back to Minute Watch, and this is an F-16 for no reason whatsoever. So let's just get that out of here. <laughs> I was cleaning it, so I was like, oh, I'm going to show it off. Anyway, here is the Invicta Pro Diver 8928OB. And before we get into that, I have a few things to talk about. So if you haven't noticed, I hope you do, <laughs> but I think the lighting is better. I've taken some of the hints and tips. Hints? It's not a game. I've taken some of the tips that you guys provided. Plus, my buddy came over the other day and showed me some things. And he's a, he's a super photographer slash videographer. Check him out. His name is Accidental Broadcast. You can see that right there. He does really cool stuff. So he showed me some things, and I incorporated his tips as well as some of yours into hopefully making a better quality video. I'm also going to get a new camera because... Uh, my buddy brought over this his camera is Sony a6300 and I was just floored by how much better it is especially the focus time uh, this camera is, takes a long time to focus and that camera is just blazingly faster so really want that this is Sony RX100 is still good but you know I, if I want to if I want to get better if I want to make better videos for you guys I gotta I gotta spend the money <laughs> so I'm gonna sell a liver again and another kidney well if I sell a liver I'm gonna die maybe a kidney cut off my leg chop off my leg maybe sell an eyeball worth it and uh, another note uh, thanks for the nice comments you guys in the other video when I was bitching and moaning about haters and stuff so super thanks for that like I appreciate the support and I wouldn't be able to do all this stuff without you and on a completely unrelated unrelated thing. The, do any of you watch Mighty Car Mods? <laughs> I freaking love that channel. I think Mighty Car Mods is the best channel on the interwebs. So I just watched some of their Japan specials. I freaking love those guys. Anyway, back to the back to the show. The Invicta Pro Diver 8928OB features 23 karat gold plated center links on the bracelet as well as a 23 karat gold plated bezel edge and crown there's a crown right there it's got that uh, Invicta logo signed Invicta logo it's pretty good pretty good and uh, this uses Seiko's NH35A automatic mechanical movement employs 24 jewels beats at 21,600 BPH and has a, about a 41 hour power reserve we take it off the watch sofa and, uh, so, the movement is hackable and windable. So here, let me unscrew the screw down crown, which, which allows for the 200 meter rated water resistance. And you pull it out, and then you don't get pregnant. So there you go, it's uh, stopped. And then you push it in, boom, it's going in again. It's also windable, let me get up really, really close and personal here. Just, here, can you hear the winding? Can you hear the wind? <laughs> so really good feel of the of the crown screw in. It has a really good solid feel. This is a great watch. It's crazy. It's seventy eight dollars from Amazon, and I cannot believe what you get for seventy eight dollars. As far as I'm concerned, there really is no better deal than this. Uh, it's just absolutely wonderful. Uh, this is a mineral crystal, not that flame fusion stuff that Invicta loves to tout. Uh, and it has an excellent date bubble. Check out the date bubble. I'm gonna there you go. See the see the date in there, and then boom. <laughs> Actually, a pretty good magnification. A lot of times these lower price watches don't have a good magnification, but that's pretty good. Uh, this dive watch also features a display back. <laughs> a display back on a dive watch. So that kind of that's kind of interesting. And the rotor is pretty well, uh, pretty well dressed. It's kind of a, it's kind of like a dressing up an import car. You know, it's not gonna make it any faster, but maybe give it a little bit more style. I don't know. Uh, I'm impressed by what they've done with this watch, especially for the price. I mean, come on, is that kidding me? So uh, let me show you the blue dial. I'm gonna infuse the glare monster temporarily. So I really want to show this blue dial. In the right lighting, this is what happens. It just, it's just brilliantly blue. Let me get closer. Uh, it's just brilliant blue. If you go to like a place where there's a lot of uh, recessed lighting or track lighting, oh, this watch is just so the shiny people. <laughs> and that's why I got it full disclosure. I was like, this watch is the shiny. 
and I ordered it and here it is. I don't think I'm gonna sell it. A lot of times I just get a watch, do a review and then sell it but I think I'm gonna keep this because it is, it'll be an excellent beater even though I'm probably gonna take care of it like any other watch. I'm probably gonna be very very diligent about not scratching it up because I'm one of those guys. <laughs> so okay a lot of people don't like Invicta they don't like the name they think it's like a super copy brand and rightly so because this is a straight-up copy of the Rolex 1166 13 LB as you can see right there not much is different except for the logo and that uh, and that Invicta thing that I can't stand I can't stand that they've done that but um, not a whole lot different <laughs> of course you know better metals on the Rolex better movement actual gold a thousand times more expensive <laughs> the bezel is a unidirectional uh, 120 click I believe Wait. yeah it's 120 click and it's it's good it doesn't uh, give me problems it's it works just well and it lines up perfectly that is big lines up perfectly and everything is just really good about this watch the bracelet is solid the links are solid but the end links are not as you can see there it doesn't make a whole lot of noise so let's get to the dimensions shall we case I got 40 millimeters lug to lug 47.6 millimeters lug with 19.8 millimeters so millers 19.8 <laughs> millers 19.8 millimeters so about 20 millimeters and thickness about 13.6 so let's put it on my little wrist my, my wrist has suffered emotional distress and nuclear fallout damage uh, from Halo 1 through 4 and uh, <laughs> so there you go that's a 6.5 inch wrist so if you're wondering what this watch looks like on a tiny wrist uh, uh, that's that's what it looks like <laughs> uh, dude seriously I love this watch and I didn't want to I ordered this thinking eh whatever gonna do a review then I'm gonna send it on its way but I freaking love it I freaking love this watch what does that say about me as a watch person how can I take myself seriously when I love an Invicta but then I think who gives a crap <laughs> <laughs> Who gives a crap? I'm gonna freaking wear it and love it. So, meh. gosh, it's so pretty. It's making me want to buy the real thing on a big time level. But wearing this one, just I won't have to even care about it. You know, if I had the real one, wow, I would be like paranoid to wear it. But this one, who cares? Hey, you want to steal it? Have have it, please. Here, I'll, I'll you know I'll give you a strap as well. You know. <laughs> Uh, oh, speaking of straps, I think this would look excellent on a blue shiny leather strap. What do you think? Yeah, one that matches the color of the bezel. Whew. So let's put it back on back back on chato. Let's put it back on the watch sofa and let it nice get, let it get all nice and reclined like that. Let it get all nice and reclined. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna put it next to the bully, the big bully. The Seiko Monster, the benchmark Seiko Monster. So you can already guess what we're gonna do. <clears throat> I'm gonna use my X Tar Art. Oh, damn it! I hit myself in the knuckle, and then that's just a lot of pain right now. Uh, I'm gonna gonna use my X Tar <laughs> R32 blast it with with nuclear science, and then uh, I'm gonna turn off the lights here. Turn off the lights here. Oh, that one was already off. And then turn up the one all the way up here. There you go. So there's many lights now. And then boom. Here we go. Let's get the brightest setting. There we go. I'm gonna spend a little bit more time on the Invicta. It seems to need it. Uh, a little bit of time on the and done. So really, guys. Oh, turn up the ISO to 1600 so you can see what my eyes are seeing. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. So uh, yeah. Uh, the clear winner is the Seiko Monster. The Invicta is not that good. These uh, pro divers don't have good loom. You're not going to really use these pro divers for actually diving. If you want to go diving, get a, get a legit watch. Okay, Get a Citizen or Seiko or something higher. But don't use an Invicta. You might regret it. <laughs>
<laughs> but yeah, clear winner. Can you even see the freaking Invicta? It's it's dying. It's it's dying. <laughs> okay, we're gonna turn back on all the lights. And I need to make a separate switch for this so I can just boom one speed and uh, make it easy for everybody else. You don't have to listen to me flipping off switches and go back to 200 and back. So, what should I say? In conclusion, if you are on the fence about buying a swatch, just freaking get it. Don't even worry about it. You'll like it. You will. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, that's my review of this watch. Thanks for watching.